Hey guys, it's Killer Variety and welcome to Dying Light. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do the duplication glitch and I'll be duplicating disaster relief packages. And with the disaster relief packages, you know you can use that to level up your survival rank. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we go. So right now I am at the following DLC. This is the first uh, base you get to once you start that DLC. Uh, this duplication glitch, you can do it anywhere you want. I would prefer doing it in the tower or here, this DLC. This area, this base right here, or the tower in the slums. The tower is the beginning tower that you spawn at when you start the game for the first time. In the main, uh, the main game. It's either there I like doing it or here. But yeah, you can do it anywhere you want. So what you're gonna need to do is First, you want to have a, a quest selected. Make sure that the quest that you have selected is one that's located in the area that you're at. For example, this one, the gathering, it's countryside. You want a quest that it's in the area that you're at. Like if you're in the tower, you want a quest that says tower. That way, when you do this glitch, it doesn't spawn you far away. For example, if I select, let's see, if I select Mm. It's a good example. These are all labeled countryside, so it's not like you know it'll change anything. But uh, let's use the main game for example. If if um my quest has old town selected, and I'm in the tower in the slums, that's a different area that I'm not in. And when you do this glitch, it's gonna probably respawn you in old town, and it's not gonna perform the glitch. That's just not how it works, guys. Alright. So, make sure you have a quest selected that's in your area. That's the first step. Okay. And now, what you want to do is, you want to make sure you go to your settings. So, hit the PlayStation button. Scroll up to settings. Go to your network. And when you're here in your network, Here's your internet. You want to double tap the PlayStation button and it'll take you back into the game. Just like that. And then when you double tap it again, the PlayStation button, it'll take you back into the network settings. See, right there where we left off. Really quick. So just double tap it to get back into the game. You're going to need to remember that. Alright. So now. Open up my stash real quick. Disaster relief packages. That's what we're going to be duplicating today. You can duplicate anything. Anything that's in your storage, you can duplicate it. So, for example, these uh, weapon mods and these jewel things, you can sell them for money. The main thing. You know, everybody wants is disaster early packages, so here you go. So make sure that the item you want to duplicate is in your storage and not in your inventory. Because you can't do the glitch right. If it's in your inventory, it'll crash the game. Make sure that you transfer whatever you want to duplicate into your storage first. So after you've got all that down, that's a lot of steps. So you go back and you review it, triple check it. All right, so remember, what you want to duplicate has to be in your storage in the stash and make sure that you have your uh, network uh, settings uh, set up properly so when you double tap the PlayStation button it takes you there instantly like that now what you want to do is you want to go to matchmaking you want to find games you let this load up Boom, we got two people. You click on one that's in your area. Try to also click on somebody that's in your area. So again, if you're in the main game and there's somebody in Old Town, don't try to join that person's game. Try to join someone who's in the slums. If you're in the slums, if you're in the tower, then you're in the slums. Make sure that it's in your area. So uh, you get this screen that pops up. So you want to hit X. 
and after you hit X, you're gonna join the person's game. As soon as the screen fades to black, it means you're joining the person's game, and as soon as the screen fades to black, double tap the PlayStation button and turn off your internet. Is that check mark that we saw? So let's let me go to it right now. You see that check mark? Click it off and then click it on. So you just gotta tap it twice. Off on. As fast as you, you can go. It doesn't have to be incredibly fast, it could be a normal speed. You try to be fast. So once I press once the screen pops up, it means you're joining somebody's game. Press X, you join their game, the screen's gonna fade to black. As soon as it fades to black, double tap the PlayStation button, you're gonna go to your network settings. You're gonna turn off the check mark and then turn it back on. And then you're gonna double tap the PlayStation button, which is gonna take you back into the game. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna hit join, double tap the PlayStation button, turn it off, turn it on, double tap the PlayStation button, go back into the game. You're gonna get this screen. Connection to the network has been lost. Hit OK. Then you're gonna press resume. Then you're gonna get one more screen. You're gonna get this screen. You are playing alone. The last check checkpoint from the single player will be loaded so that you can continue your story. Once you press OK in this screen, once you press OK in this screen, you wanna tap square at least four times, but you wanna spam it until you see the stash storage open up. So you wanna spam square after you press OK on this screen. That's really important or else the glitch won't work. So press X, spam square to your inventory opens up and then stop pressing square and move the stick. Uh, you can press right on the D-pad, but you have to move the selection from your inventory to the storage. So once you open up, once you spam square, your storage is going to open up. The left side of the storage is your inventory and the right side of the storage is your your storage. So you want to move it over to the right side. That's where you want to have it at. You have to do it quick because the game's going to reload. It's going to load the last checkpoint. So before the screen fades to black, you want to make sure that you move it over to the right side. So remember again, we're going to go over this again. Press X to confirm this, and once you do that, spam square. Usually, it only takes four taps. Four, uh, press the square button four times, and it usually opens up the stash. But you just want to spam it until it opens up, and then you move it over to the right side. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Move it over to the right side. I don't know if you saw, but the last second I moved it over to the right side. So see the game loaded up again to the last checkpoint and my stash is still open. So now I want to scroll down to the item that I want to duplicate. It's also very important that in this screen, you don't move it back to the right side of your inventory. Because if you do, it'll crash. it could crash the game. Also, you want to be moving down with the the R3 or the right stick the right joystick you want to be moving down with it and only stay on the storage side of it because it could crash your game it won't break your game you know you can just reload it back up but it'll crash your game and the glitch won't work so you want to go down by using the right joystick find the item you want to duplicate I said it was the disaster relief packages so you want to click R3 to drop and it says it right there on the bottom corner you want to hit triangle to drop all of the disaster relief packages or whatever item you're duplicating to drop all of it at once and after you do that that's it you can't duplicate more than one item and after you drop it don't move it up or down because it, it'll crash the game just after you hit drop all back out press circle back out as you saw there it is accessory packages 99 because I just duplicated what I had so now I grab it and damn this plane is loud as hell
Where's that plane at? I'm trying to make a video here. Get out of here. All right, guys. So as you saw, it reloaded me here. Because I have this quest selected, which is from just here. So I reloaded me here next to him. So I just go back over here. And I go into my storage, or my stash. And I go down. There it is. So that's the relief packages. Then I could just transfer what I duplicated back into the stash or into the storage. Uh, whatever I duplicated, add it to the storage to increase the amount of it and then do the duplication again. But this time you'll be duplicating even more than what you had before. So it'll be double. So let's say you had 10 disaster relief packages you duplicated it so you had 10 you added it to the storage so now when you do the glitch again and you go to duplicate it you're gonna have 20 in your storage and then 20 duplicated for a total of 40 so yeah you just double your earnings so that's that's how simple it is to do this glitch guys everybody's doing it it's, it's very, very simple uh, this game is really old it's really good too this, this game is a lot of fun and but it's really old and the grind is really really like annoying for someone who's like starting off playing this game recently I've I played this game on Xbox like a couple years ago and I grinded it all I earned everything and everything but now I'm on the PlayStation still have my Xbox but I'm currently using my PlayStation more so I rebought this game I saw they had the anniversary edition I got into it I was like I don't want to grind everything all over again which I technically I did grind everything all over again but this glitch helps make it makes everything easier you know because on top of grinding your levels you have to worry about getting materials and then and, and all this stuff but with this glitch, you can easily earn money, you can duplicate weapons and sell them. You can duplicate other items like the jewelry that I had that you saw. You can do all those kind of things. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You duplicate weapons, duplicate jewelry, duplicate weapon mods, whatever. Uh, disaster relief packages, uh, alter tissue, any of those things. Whatever you can put in your storage, you can duplicate it. Uh, I don't think you can duplicate ammo because I don't think ammo goes into storage. So uh, if you have a weapon or whatever, I don't, I don't believe you can duplicate that with the ammo for it. But I mean, you could just buy ammo almost anywhere. It's easy. You just go to these uh, vendors over here with the money sign. Hello, stranger. Looking to buy. And they usually sell ammo on the bottom see shotgun ammo rifle ammo, pistol smg arrows Hi. yeah i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys subscribe like and uh if you have any questions leave a comment i'll try to get back to you guys as fast as i can i'm pretty uh busy but you know I like helping you guys out appreciate you guys for watching and yeah see you guys next time peace